In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the GitHub API. This is an update to the GitHub API tutorial that I released a couple years ago. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up with Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you have everything set up, we can just hit send and we see a valid response back from the GitHub API. In this specific API call, I'm just getting all of the public repos for one of my GitHub accounts. Before we start, I will make sure to include a link in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact API calls that I make during this tutorial so that you don't have to manually recreate these API calls yourself. To get started, we can look at the documentation for the specific API call that I just showed. If we look over here, we can see the curl command for this specific API call. We can just click copy, go back to Postman, click file, import, and just paste in the curl that we just copied. In the URL, just update the username value with the GitHub profile that you want to search for. So I'll just do my GitHub account, then click headers and uncheck this box that says authorization, then click send. And you should now see a response back from the GitHub API that will list all of the public GitHub repos for the GitHub user that you searched for. For the next API call, I will show you how to display both public and private repos for a specific GitHub user. Going back to the documentation, here is all the info for listing both public and private repos for a GitHub user. However, before we can make this specific API call, we will need to generate a GitHub API key, which we can easily do if we just go to this specific link and then click on personal access token, then click on find green tokens. Click here where it says generate new token. Name the token whatever you would like. I'll just do tutorial example. And for expiration, just set it to how long you want the token to last. I'll just do seven days for right now. Click all repositories, then scroll down. Select repository permissions. And for the administration section, just click read only. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and then click generate token. Make sure you copy this token as you will not be able to access it again. Going back to the documentation, just do the same as before where we copy the curl, then go back to Postman, click File, Import, and just import the curl. Click Authorization, click Bearer Token. Here, just paste the token that we just copied, then click Send. We should now see a similar response to the previous API call that we made. But if I search up my private repo, this is a repo that I made that I made private and we can now see it inside this API response. In the previous API call that we made, this repo did not show up because we were only showing public repos, but this API call will show both public and private repos. The next API call I will show will list all of the commits from a repo that you own. Going to the documentation, we can just do the exact same thing as before where we just copy the curl and import it to Postman. And this is what it will look like. The two changes you need to make is to update the owner value with the name of your GitHub profile, and then update the repo value with the name of your GitHub repo that you're trying to list the commits for. In this case, my repo name is GitHub REST API React Tutorial. One last change we need to make is to go to authorization and just make sure we select bearer token and paste in the value that we copied from earlier. Once you have this all set up, just hit send. And we should now see a list of commits for the GitHub repo that we specified. For the last API call, I will show you how to get a list of all the branches for a specific GitHub repo. Going back to the documentation, we can just do the exact same steps as before, where we copy the curl and just import it to Postman, update the owner value and the repo value just like we did before. Also make sure you're using the correct bearer token, but once you have that set up, just hit send. And we should now see all of the branches for this specific GitHub repo. So right now I just have two branches. One is called main and one is called test branch. That is the end of this GitHub API tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.